viewers, welcome back to Journey to Home Sweet Home. I've been doing the KonMari method. I've been trying to work through it. It has been taking me a while, but I am at the point where I am going to be doing books. So I wanted to give you guys a little bit of background about Marie's thoughts on going through your books. So this is just a little summary of her chapter in both of her books. So I did pick up Spark Joy and I was able to pick up a few more things from there. The first thing she says is to take all your books out of their shelves or wherever you have them, place them all on the floor, every single last one of them. If you have too many, you can do further subcategorize them and I'll go through which what those categories are in a moment. Um, but she wants you, if it's possible, to go through all of them all at once, on the, put them on the floor and go through all of them all at once, um, just so you can just see the share volume. As, in the, as with the clothing, you really do get to see and get a really good idea of how much you actually do have. So if you can, do that. If you can't, you can subcategorize it. The first category, subcategory she talks about are general books, and these are books that you read for pleasure. Um, they can include series in them as well. What you do with those is that instead of going through each one in the series, you can just hold all of them in your hand. If you know you don't have that many, you can hold all of them and just see if it sparks joy. And if you have too many, you can just pick up the first volume that you have of that series and then decide if that gives you joy. So you don't need to go through each one of them um, in your series. Those are just for books that are series or comics, um, but other books you will have to hold them individually. Okay, the second subcategory she mentions are practical books such as reference books and cookbooks. Reference books, she says, should be discarded because if you've already re read it, the information is already inside your head, whether you know it or not. So she says just discard it and what will end up happening is you'll find that, according to her, you'll find that the equivalent of new information will come your way and it will come your way just at a time when you need it. Now the third category she mentions are visual books. So these can be photo books, magazines, catalogs, anything with a lot of photographs and she says the, the thing with this category is it's very easy to get distracted because there's so many pictures. So she, you know, with us with all the books, do not open them. Only keep the ones that you wouldn't even contemplate getting rid of. Um, you know, it's just not even a, a thought in your head that you're going to get rid of it or that you should get rid of it. Keep those ones only. Um, for magazines, she recommends limiting them. So if it's six issues or six months of issues, um, limited to that. If, however, there's only one or two articles in the magazine, just something specific you want to keep from the magazine, she recommends you clip it out, put it in a plastic folder, I guess a clear folder so you can see it, and put it aside for going through it again when you get to the paper category. So once we get to the paper category, we're going to go through it again because she says, and this makes sense to me, we often clip things out and then when we go, well, we never look at it. And then we also, when we do look at it, we wonder why we clipped it out. Um, sometimes it's not relevant anymore. So. That's, she recommends we do that. So for each book, like like I said, she says to hold each book and see if it gives you a thrill. Um, if it doesn't, you probably won't read it again. I know we sometimes fall into the trap of keeping books for our kids, especially the books that we've had as we were kids. 
So just, um, this is just my own thought now, but just be cautious of that because your kids' um, interests may be different from your own and the books that you read as a child may not be the books that they are particularly interested in reading. So I'll be looking for that when I go through my books and try to get rid of it. If it's not a classic, if it's not something that really sparks joy for me, I will get rid of it. And if my children want to read it again, well, we always have the library or the bookstore. So for the books, do not open them. She, she, she is very adamant about not opening them because you do get distracted and it really distracts from the process of seeing whether this sparks joy or not for you. So the next point she makes is half-read books or unread books. She says just discard those. If you've had them for a while and you haven't read them, then the book's purpose was to show you that you didn't really need that book, according to Marie Kondo. So when it comes to organizing your books, Marie suggests a shelf or a bookcase. So just something upright and you can stick your books in there. And I think for the most part, we do store our books like that. But she definitely does not recommend storing them flat, stacked. If they're stacked, it's hard to get to them. But also, I think you're putting weight on the ones at the bottom. So books for specific use can be stored where they're used. For example, cookbooks can be stored with cookbooks, okay? Um, if you have, you know, you run a business and you have accounting books to kind of explain how you do, how to, you know, use your com your computer software or something like that, then store it there in your office. Now the next thing she wants to remind us of in her book is that be mindful of the books that you keep because they are what you will become. So she recommends keeping books that reflect the lifestyle that you want to live. And I hope that if you're going through the method, this video has helped you or inspires you to start and go through your books or go start from the beginning and go through your clothing. And I will now be going through our books and I will be subcategorizing them. I expect though that it should go a little bit quicker because there aren't as many categories as the, the clothing category, but we shall see. So stick with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're having a great day. If you did like the video, please consider subscribing. And until next time, be well on your journey to home sweet home. Bye guys.